and welcome back to another episode of Gears 5. So we just begun chapter 3? Yeah, uh, Act 3, Chapter 1, sorry. <laughs> so let's see what await us. Notice the part where no one's sure this will work. I don't care. We'll make it work. We have to. Maybe it's time you told me exactly what you saw in that machine. It's not what I saw. It's... It's what I felt. They have a queen now. They're not gonna stop. Look, I woke her up. So I have to stop her. Yeah, but this isn't all on you. Come on. Let's just go see Barry. This sand is real red. <laughs> Let's look for loot before... I, I, I see you there. By the way, how many we have? 12. Uh, I think we were going for the 16 on. McCall? No, we've done that. Oh my god, I forgot where we were going. Uh, the mine? Uh -oh. The flesh, I don't like that very much. Um, the cloak. Yeah, let's take that one. And then we go for nine. But did I see something? Nope. Excuse me, sir. The sand is real red. <laughs> I see you hiding behind there. There you go. No, cannot tuck. Anything on this counter? Feels like the exit that one. Anything behind here? Nope. See you. Hello. I know the triple. Yeah. Exploring is really paying off. <laughs> Good, you're here. 
Grab this no, module not. off the table. Jack's about due for an upgrade. You know, that module isn't going to install itself. Just yeah, saying. I know that. I'm guessing this is where we're going to do practice with the module. Ah, let me have a look. Ah. I yeah. almost didn't see you. Don't exactly have all the time in the world for this. And now we have enough for the upgrade. Well, since I nearly lost <laughs> the triple components, let's have a quick look around here. Yeah, we don't exactly have all the time in the world for this. Yeah, yeah. What the heck is that? Hi, Jack. You know, that module isn't going to install itself. That's very interesting. <clears throat> I'm guessing it works only on robots. Or whatever they are. Jack Temper takes control of an enemy. 30% longer. Right. Oh, <laughs> last one is spicy. <laughs> Oh yeah, I wanted to do this too. Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> We've done uh, stealth, Sam. block, whatever. Uh, I guess you want me to keep it. Because now you're gonna show me how it works. Done. What's it do? Follow me. So a couple of days ago, I sent Paddock a care package. Some DBs and some leeches. Hmm, intriguing. Potentially disastrous, but intriguing. Thank you. See, the way you described Niles' as machine gave me an idea. I call it Hijack. Go ahead. Try it out. Show him what you got, Jack. Whoa, you figured out how to override the hive mind? Uh, no. Jack just floods their brains with voltage. It's crude, doesn't last long, but it works. So which swarm can we use it against? Well, our test subject data is limited, obviously, but... Uh, you know what? Go nuts out there. See what happens. Go <laughs> nuts out there. Oh, uh, really? one more thing. Stop by and see Paddock before you go. He's out front. One more thing, Beard. Once we get this hammer up, I need to know if I can rely on you. Don't worry about that. This time, we're gonna do it right. You know what happened to Lizzie in the convoy? It wasn't your fault. Kind of you to say, but I'm the one who pushed the button. I had a bad feeling about it. I didn't want to do it, but I did. So that's on me. Speaking of uh, all that, have you seen JD around lately? I'm trying my best not to, kid. This paddock. How do you know him? We were in a squad together, believe it or not. Also got court-martialed together. Kind of bonded. So you trust him? 
Well, he threatens to never speak to me again every time I see him, but beyond that, yeah, I trust him with my life. Interesting. Hey, did you hear that Patty guy's accent? It's Garazzi. Yeah, and? And they kind of had a rep back in the day. Torture, war crimes. Remember where I come from, the cog had the same rep. Come have a look, children. Until a few weeks ago, we were holding out fine against your so-called swarm. Then everything changed. They got smarter. Suddenly they were wearing armor. They started making deals. Take one, if you want. So you all have been fighting the swarm alone? Yes, which is why I agreed to let Bear come here. We help you with your rocket launch. You help us take back our land. Speaking of which, our water supply has been cut off. We've been trying to restore it, but your swarms made that difficult, to say the least. Getting the hammer ups our priority, but <coughs> say we help. What do you need? Our water tower. You'll pass it on the way out. Haven't heard from my people there in a while. Could be nothing. Could be something. Check in if you can. All right. And now the big question. Are you children ready to prepare for this? Because your skiff's ready on the runway, and the desert awaits. Damn. What did Baird say? A small civil war? This is the plot. So, um, so yeah, I, I can replace you. Curious somebody. about how bear than I met. Yeah, sure. General Carr, Alvo Bay, the light mask missile. I doubt these words mean it's much. It's every weapon that gets more so accurate sure. as it fires, well, and it, it, might it doesn't. No, what are they supposed to mean? Alongside your friend Bear, he showed me that not all cog are bad. They're just mostly bad. Okay. Good talk. And this is the land, so... So I have 289. Ah, I see you have good taste in weapons. That is reassuring. What's the rate of fire this thing? Ooh. I guess we try like this. Anything for me up there? This is the bow. Oh wait. Let me take this one. And I guess off we go. Wait. Anything for me in that? No.
<laughs> that is always one hidden. Training in the Deadlands back in OCS. Let me know if you want a few desert pointers. You know, only one of us grew up in a city, and it wasn't me. I think I can handle it. Okay. Never seen weird formations like this before. It's sand. Zapped and superheated by a lightning flurry. Oh, yeah? How does that work? High shock pressure. It changes the sand's atomic structure. You, my friend, missed your calling. You should be teaching science. I don't know. Maybe someday I'll do that. Nothing in here, so we can... Um, finish the clock. 50% faster. And... Oops. We need more. JD. I don't believe this. I hope you're not here to stop us. Actually. Because you can't. Kate. Maybe you should try listening for once. Kate. I'm listening. Yeah, well, don't bother. I'm done. <laughs> okay. Because I'm here to help. If you'll have me. I'm sorry. What? Dad told me about Mount Kadar. What you learned, and... Look, I, I know you don't trust me. After everything that happened, what I've done... I, I don't blame you. So what does Jin think about you being here? Jin... doesn't know. Really? And let me guess, he's here to pitch in too? Yeah. Turns out, Foz isn't so bad. No, I am actually. You just got used to me. Who the hell are they? Friends. They'll be joining us. Yeah? I don't like them. Shocker. You want these two along? Fine. But I deal with you, not them. You good with that? Like I said, I'm here to help. Bear. Come on, then. Let's hop in that raven and find some satellites. No, Raven. The wind flares out there will kill you. So what? We walk there. Hey, man. If you want to walk, feel free. But we got other plans. Oh, it's not that skiff, is it? It's exactly that. <laughs> okay, man. Before we go, I got a bone to pick. A big one. Sure. Pick away. You lied to me. And then, after you got hurt, you pushed us away. Like, like we didn't even know you. Look, I haven't exactly been myself, Del. I know that. So who showed up today? Your friend. For what it's worth, I tried to convince him to embrace Dark JD. But something about you two brings out the best in him. Yeah, wait there. I have a little bit to explore here. Yeah. So... So what? Trust him? I'm getting there. Okay.
Really? All the way here and there is nothing? I'm sure I've missed something. <laughs> How about there? Nothing. Anything in there? Hello? There is something here? Anything on the top of these guys? Can I squeeze through? No. There's another hangar? Yep. Oh shit, Taddy the Nar could destroy this stuff. Damn it. Now that I know that, I'm sure I've lost a lot of bits and pieces. Uh, no. I don't like that weapon. I guess we are for the skiff. Ah, my favorite thing to do. <laughs> hey. Action. Hey. Yo. Let's look at them up first. So we have water tower there. This is the um, the other mission that the guy gave us. Okay, let's begin going. Why we're right. here, but where are we going? An old rocket hangar to the east. And just a heads up, the nomads could use some help too. Then let's do it. <laughs> Hold up, man. You can't just say let's do it and make the last few months disappear. No, come on. No, it's okay. Let him get it out. No, 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 see, that's not fair. You're being all reasonable, and I want to stay mad. Then stay mad. Not here to prove anything. Just here to help. As am I. So it appears his decency's rubbing off on me. Delta, Paddock just let me in on something. It's kind of relevant. When the UIR beats... Thought he was gonna lose to the rebels. He infected all military computers with some sort of boot sector virus. Meaning most of the tech we'll find out here has been bricked for decades. Yeah. Jack should be able to power past any remaining malware and reboot the machines. He just needs access. All right, Baird. Understood. This place is very cool. I'm guessing that's the water tower Paddock mentioned. We're gonna check it out. Yeah, if I find a way in, 